Close your eyes. Stay with the breath. Breath comes in, the breath goes out. You watch it. And then you ask if it's comfortable. You can experiment for a bit. You can try long breathing for a while and then short breathing. See which feels better. And then you can drive fast and slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Find what way of breathing feels best for the body right now. Because as we train the mind, the mind needs a good place to stay. And so give it a place that you like. You can breathe any way you like. Focus anywhere in the body. And then think of a comfortable breath spreading throughout the whole body. This is where you're finding happiness in a way that doesn't cause any trouble. As I would say in Thailand, it's, it's a happiness that's cool. The happiness for most of the people in the world involves a lot of trouble. You have to work really hard, then you have to fight with other people, and then when you get your happiness, you have to fight them off. And then the happiness just slips through your fingers like water. So you have to find more, more, more. It's always hot. But the Dharma is cool. We're going to find happiness with things that are right here, right now, and things that nobody else can take away from us. No one else can come and push you away to get to say they can watch your breath. You're the one who has the breath. You're the one who has your mind. So you put those together and find a happiness right here. And this is really yours. Nobody else has to know about it, so nobody can take it away. This is a happiness that's cool. It doesn't require fighting anybody for anything. You're finding happiness in an area that really is yours. Your awareness of the present right here, right now. So when it's hot outside, try to maintain a sense of coolness inside. Coolness in the way you're looking for happiness. In a way that's not causing you any trouble, not causing trouble to anybody else. In a way that, when you reflect on it, makes you feel good. You came into this world and you're able to find a happiness that causes no harm at all. So many people feel that they have to cause harm in order to find the happiness they want or to protect the happiness they have. And then they end up with what? They end up with the karma of having done all that. And the happiness is gone. So don't look for that kind of happiness. Look for the kind of happiness that keeps you cool inside. It doesn't have anything to criticize from any angle. As John Mann used to say, the goodness that is good all around, that's genuine goodness. And this is good all around. You think about what you're doing for yourself, and it's cool. You think about what you're doing for the world, and it's cool. You're generous. You follow the precepts. You get your mind under control. When you can find happiness in this way, or in these ways, then you're not creating any trouble. You're not creating any barriers in the world. The barriers of the world come from times when people are trying to find their happiness in material gain and status and praise, sensual pleasures. With those kinds of happiness, some people gain, other people have to lose. That's what creates a barrier. But the happiness that comes from generosity there's no, has no barriers at all. You give and the recipients are happy, you're happy. You observe the precepts, you're happy. The people who are safe from you're breaking the precepts, they're happy too. When you meditate, you get your mind under control. You cause yourself no trouble, you cause no trouble anybody else. Everybody gets happy all around. That's a happiness that erases barriers. That's why it's cool. So keep that in mind. You're going to, we're living in a hot world, a world where the, not only the temperatures outside are hot, but people's emotions are hot, people's defilements are hot. But we can keep our minds cool. At the very least, we have a safe place to stay, and we can spread our coolness around. That's our gift to ourselves and everybody around us.